Welcome back to beyoungministry.blogspot.com to another podcast and another blog. Today we're in Luke chapter 13, verses 34 and 35, which reads, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you, how often I have longed to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings. And you were not willing. Look, your house is left to you desolate. I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. That's Luke chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. The Lord Jesus' heart was grieved as he saw the unbelief of the people. And then verse 34, he broke out in a lamentation over the sad plight of the Jewish nation. It was the expression of a broken heart. The people had been given many opportunities to believe and be saved, but they refused his message. In verse 34, We read, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you. How often I have longed to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings. And you were not willing. For years, God had sent to Jerusalem prophet after prophet. The Old Testament shows the history. And so many of those prophets were mistreated and even killed in Jerusalem. The Lord Jesus went on to say, How often I have longed to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings. The metaphor is of a protective hen gathering her young. What an insight into the heart of the Lord Jesus. He had the best intended for the Jews, for Israel, Not the worst, but they were unwilling. In Jeremiah 29, 11, we read, The thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of good and peace to give you a future and a hope. That's the heart of the Lord Jesus. The word desolate in verse 35 of our text literally means left to you. The Lord Jesus was saying, Your house is is left to you. That's another way of saying you're on your own. As we see in Romans chapter 1, verses 24, 26, and 28, one expression of God's wrath is he lets us go our own way. In verse 35, we read, Look, your house is left to you desolate. I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The key word here is the word until, which teaches us God is not done with Israel, even though they had largely rejected him. This until tells us that sometime in the future, Israel will acknowledge the Lord Jesus as their Messiah. The Lord Jesus quotes Psalm 118, verse 26, and verse 35. And with this quote, we conclude God keeps his promises. You see, in the Old Testament, God promised a son who would be a king with a kingdom. And the kingdom would be worldwide and everlasting. And Israel will one day trust in their Messiah, the Lord Jesus. And they, one day, will receive the land that God promised them. I find it quite interesting that when God promised them the land originally, he promised them 300,000 square miles. They've only occupied 30,000 square miles. Think through that one. (laughs) One day they will be a blessing to the whole world. That was in the promise, the original promise to Abraham. One of the major divine purposes for the tribulation, we call it the tribulation, 
the Bible never calls it the tribulation, but I think you know what I mean. It's a seven-year period that could begin any day now. But one of the divine purposes for the tribulation in relation to Israel is the conversion of the Jews, of the nation of Israel, to faith in the Lord Jesus as their Messiah. This will take place throughout the tribulation. But by the end of that seven-year period, the entire number of the elect will become converted to the Lord Jesus. God will fulfill his word. This is the point of Daniel's 70th 7 in Daniel chapter 9 and verse 27. At the beginning of the prophecy in Daniel 9, 24, God is clear to tell us this prophecy is for Daniel's people, the Jews. This 70th 7 is referred to by Jeremiah in Jeremiah 30, verse 7, as a time of Jacob's trouble. We know that Jacob is Israel in unbelief. That was his name before he became a believer and God renamed him Israel. Jacob means deceiver, by the way. We know that Jacob is Israel in unbelief. So this means that during the seven-year time of tribulation, God will draw Israel back to himself, even though it will be a volatile period of time, especially the last three and a half years of that seven-year period. In fact, according to Matthew 24 and verse 15, the Lord Jesus refers to this Daniel chapter 9 prophecy, proving it is yet in the future to take place. The Lord Jesus brought attention to the fact that in the middle of this seven-year period, the Antichrist would be revealed. It is a time of Jacob's trouble when God will fulfill all of the unfulfilled prophecies concerning Israel. By this, we can be buoyed once again that God's promises are true and he can be trusted. My friends, we are following a God today who is faithful and true, whose will is sovereign. Yet he doesn't force his will on anyone. And therefore, we can trust him with our lives. Let me encourage you today, my friends. Go all out for him today and watch the miraculous things he will do for and through you as you trust in him. My friends, I trust this podcast and this blog are helpful to you in your walk with the Lord. If I can be of further assistance to you, shoot me an email at beyoungministry at gmail.com. Hey, have a great day.